With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, in this question is given that if A, B, C are three non-empty sets, okay? Says that A and B are disjoint sets. What is disjoint set? Two sets are said to be disjoint if they have nothing in common, no element in common. So A, a intersection B is zero, okay? And the number of elements contained in A is equal to those contained in set common to set A and C. Okay. Then A union, B union, C number of elements in this is necessary equal to. Okay. So first of all, without wasting time, let's write the data that is given. It is given that A and B are disjoint. So number of elements in A intersection B will be zero. Disjoint means disjoint means it is having no elements in common. So A intersection B this set will be equals to five. Okay, now it is also given that number of elements in A it is equals to number of elements common to set A and C. Common means intersection. Okay, so what does this line represent? It represents that if I will take common number of elements, okay, common elements in A and C, then it will be equals to number of elements in A. So it represents that A subset of C. Okay, C will contain all the elements of A. It is obvious fact. Okay. Now what we need to find, we need to find the value of sorry number of elements in A union B union C. Okay, so this can be written as here if I want to change it can be written as number of elements in. Okay, I will write this as B union A union C. Okay, and consider these A union C together. Okay, we'll perform operations on A union C. Okay, so it will be equal to number of elements in. Okay, A union C. If A subset of C. Means all the elements of A are contained in C. Okay, so what will be the union here? A union C will be equal to C itself because all the elements of A are in C. And if I want to write the union, then it will be equivalent to C. Okay, so I will write B union in place of A union C. I said I can write C. Okay, so here let me write this properly again. So number of elements in A union B union C. It will be equal to number of elements in B union C. This is what we concluded. Okay, here it is. So you can see option one is matching with our answer. Number of elements in B union C. So this is the correct answer among all the four options. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.